You guys are probably thinking like I've maybe accidentally shaved my head or something under all these hats that I'm wearing because I wore one in the last video. But no, I'm just having a really bad hair day today. So Spider-Man hat, Spider-Man video. Let's go, Spider-Man review. What is going on guys, welcome to this video, my name is Cameron, once again I hope you had an amazing Christmas and I hope you have a good new year, we're getting closer to that Spider-Man 2 issue 5, but for this video, this is the review for Spider-Man 2 issue 4, now this video is going to be pretty much, like it's going to open up pretty depressing, I mean like in a devastating way, like as a reader you're going to feel it, yeah we'll, we'll see it, so what happened in the previous issue, we saw the entire issue previously was entirely of the evil Miles Morales' history and backstory and him actually becoming extremely good friends with the Kingpin, aka Wilson Fisk. Miles actually met Wilson Fisk in prison and they developed their friendship from there. Wilson Fisk was actually going to be murdered in the showers of the prison and luckily Miles was there, Miles saved him and we also saw how Miles got that scar right across his face. Now one of my favourite things about this comic is that they actually humanised this evil Miles Morales. Like we could see that he was having trouble and was a little bit conscious about that scar across his face like going on dates with girls and stuff and that's exactly what we get to see when he goes on this date with Barbara who would later become his future wife slash girlfriend slash whatever you want to call it and as we get towards the end of the issue Miles actually wants to get out of that crime game and just live with his wife just move away with her disappear off the face of the planet and enjoy the rest of his life with her and of course that answers the question as to why nobody could see the 616 universe's Miles Morales because he wasn't just an evil crime lord or anything like that. He was best friends with the biggest crime lord. Well, guys, now it's time to get into the review for Spider-Man 2 issue 4. We're getting closer to issue 5 with the return of the Ultimate Universe and Ultimate Peter Parker. So, yeah, we need to blast through these comics. Let's get into this review and let's do it. Okay, so opening up the comic on one of the most depressing events. And unfortunately, the 616 Miles Morales, if you remember the previous issue, he pretty much met the love of his life. And now it's been a few years and she's unfortunately passed away. Once again, what I like about this is that it's showing that emotional side of Miles Morales that he actually cared for someone deeply, making his character extremely relatable. And as I mentioned quite a lot in the previous issue, it humanizes his character because at the end of the day, this is still, Miles Morales. It's just a different Miles Morales with a different history, a different backstory, but it still is Miles Morales. So you really feel for his character and for him to actually have to go through something like this of the love of his life passing away, it's devastating. Now this brings us on to Wilson Fisk and the love of his life who also unfortunately passed away and if you remember she was called Vanessa and this leads them onto the talk about alternate universes because Wilson Fisk actually knows that alternate universes and the multiverse of the Marvel Universe does exist, meaning that there is an alternate Vanessa out there somewhere and that there is an alternate Barbara. And that's really interesting because us as the reader actually knows about the alternate universes we've known for years now. I mean, our own Spider-Man Miles Morales is from the Ultimate Universe itself. So it's nice that we're jumping into that territory of Marvel Universes once again. But anyway, moving on throughout the issue, we are going over to our Spider-Man Miles Morales and the interactions between him and Barbara Rodriguez, which is potentially the new love interest for Miles Morales after all of these years. And I think I mentioned it in the previous issue and maybe like the first issue or something along those lines, but I think it's awesome how she's not exactly a dumb character, she can kind of link stuff together, and she actually knows that Miles has some sort of powers or whether he's a mutant or an inhuman or something along those lines because he saved her and what she noticed about that was that he had heroic tendencies like putting himself in danger to save another person and this is really awesome because it leads Miles into the debate as to whether he should tell Barbara that he's Spider-Man etc etc because he's already got a gank that knows and a few other people and so I like how that's going to play on his mind possibly for the next couple of issues because of course it is a major thing to reveal. Something that I thought was really lucky as well was that Miles just so happened to spot Taskmaster on the rooftop so conveniently. But we'll let that slide because the issue does actually pick up quite well. But I really liked it how we got to see Miles Morales' camouflage mode again. I mean, I actually forgot that he had that. And it just seems really cool the way that he's different towards the 616 Peter Parker Spider-Man and how Miles actually acknowledges that when he's phoning Peter Parker to meet him because obviously Peter Parker's jealous that he didn't get something like that because it is cool. So anyway, moving on, something I actually quite liked about the comic was this part where Peter was talking to Miles about being disappointed. Like, because obviously this could potentially be an alternate version of Miles Morales that these guys are about to see and he might not even be all that but also just because this character has the same name as Miles Morales 
doesn't exactly mean that it could be an alternate version of Miles either. So I like that Peter is sort of preparing himself for this and sort of telling Miles not to expect anything too crazy because obviously Miles is extremely eager to see this character. However, one of the downsides of the comic was that I do feel like this talk went on for a little bit too long to talk about like this sort of thing in the situation that they are currently in. I mean, they are supposed to be watching Taskmaster and waiting for this anticipation of this new Miles Morales come out of this jet and they just seem to be talking about responsibility and everything a little bit too in detail in like the wrong situation. It was just really weird and it sort of dragged on a little bit for me personally. So yeah, I'd say that was kind of an upside of the comic but also a downside as it went on for too long, so yeah. Anyway, going into the action side of the comic, of course we're coming up to the final few pages now and it turns out that Taskmaster the entire time knew that Miles Morales and Peter Parker were sat there watching him etc, waiting for this evil Miles Morales to come out of this jet and Taskmaster has these detonations in place and one of the funny things about this is the fact that Miles Morales and Peter Parker both get knocked out pretty much right before the evil Miles Morales comes off the jet. So Spider-Man Miles Morales and Peter Parker both have never seen this evil Miles Morales before but we keep seeing him so it's just really funny how they sort of keep missing him. But something to point out that was really interesting was the fact that this evil Miles Morales didn't actually recognise the Spider-Man Miles Morales like he didn't even know who he was. So I think that's really interesting from like an evil villain sort of perspective that he doesn't even know that this Spider-Man is an alternate version of himself. I think that's really interesting. And imagine when he finds out this, I mean, it's going to be crazy. But then, of course, the comic goes back to where it picked up in the very first issue, where they're both tied up upside down, running after the plane. And as we come up to the final page of the issue, it shows the evil Miles Morales full-on set his heart on going to this alternate dimension to finally find, once again, the love of his life, Barbara. So Kingpin was actually fulfilled with knowing that Vanessa was alive in an alternate dimension and that was that and he just got on with it. Whereas this evil Miles Morales actually wants to go to this alternate dimension to see it for himself because he's not actually content with just knowing she's alive in another universe. He actually wants to see her and meet her and all that crazy stuff. So guys, that is it for this comic. I hope you enjoyed it. But let's talk about it back on camera. So let's go. Okay, so that issue was really freaking crazy. I mean, did you see the beginning of the issue? The love of evil Miles Morales' life died early. Like, literally, she just passed away. What I'm assuming is from natural causes or... Like, I mean, because imagine if she got murdered. So yeah, the comic opened up with a really sad opener. But one of my favourite things was that you actually do care about this Miles Morales because at the end of the day, he is... Miles Morales is just an older version with a different life, but you still care for him and I like how that sort of humanizes him How he's actually devastated that the love of his life has died like it's awful But we also got for the first time the mention of the multiverse and alternate universes from the Kingpin himself and him actually having seen these things. One thing that's really interesting to remember is that Kingpin also had his wife Vanessa who also died. So that's actually going to bring these two characters closer together. So Miles Morales and the Kingpin have both experienced similar losses with the love of their lives like they both died early and so it's quite nice in a really messed up kind of way. But going over to the good Spider-Man Miles Morales, you can see that he's actually developing his relationship with this Barbara Rodriguez who he goes to school with. Now if you remember there was this giant metal head that fell out of the sky into their school grounds and Miles saved her and one thing that I really like about this is that she's not exactly like a dumb character she's actually got some wits about her and actually does have some suspicion that Miles has some powers or is a mutant or is an inhuman or something along those lines it is quite interesting to see and I think it opens up the doors that maybe Miles could tell her that he's spider-man definitely like sometime soon so i'm looking forward to that and also the fact that the older miles morales was also married to someone called barbara maybe this barbara rodriguez that miles has just met is actually miles's like love of his life as well you know what i mean so it's really interesting to see and it's kind of interesting to just kind of bounce ideas off the top of your head it's really cool so as we got through the issue and getting towards the end of it we did see that miles morales couldn't stand any longer without his wife barbara knowing that she could be in an alternate universe and she could be still alive and there's that possibility of him meeting her again and all of this and yeah he couldn't actually stand that so by the end of the issue we could see that he was full on focused on going to a new alternate universe leaving everything behind and he was determined. One thing that I was pretty surprised about though was that he didn't actually know or recognize Miles Morales Spider-Man, like Ultimate Spider-Man Miles Morales. Like he didn't even know that that was like potentially him. But just by looking at it, I don't actually think he cares because he's, set, he's got his sights just full on set on like going to his wife in an alternate universe, meeting her for the first time again and everything. So 
Yeah, one of my favourite things about this is that Miles Morales like Spider-Man and Peter Parker Spider-Man both haven't actually seen or met this evil Miles Morales yet. Like they've had plenty of opportunities, but the one time that they could fully actually have a look at him, they get knocked out and then the Miles Morales evil gets off the jet and looks at them like point blank with the masks off and everything like that. And well, like he goes before they wake up. So yeah, this comic is leading to some interesting situations, especially at the end of the issue with the evil Miles Morales about to go to an alternate dimension. What dimension do you think that's going to be, guys? Because the Ultimate Universe isn't there anymore, so what else could there be? Like, obviously there's loads of other universes, but I mean like actual popular mainstream universes like the Ultimate Universe, the 616 Universe, etc, etc. So, it's going to be really interesting, and of course, it's been, like, I know what happens already, but it's been like all this build-up that the Ultimate Universe is going to return, and the Ultimate Peter Parker is going to return, so yeah might have something to do with it. Guys, I'm going to give this issue a 9 out of 10. I am leaning more towards like an 8.5, but I don't do 8.5s or anything like that. So a 9 out of 10, the love of evil Miles Morales' life dying. I thought that was so shocking and I actually felt emotional for that character, even though he's evil and even though that it's like, like you don't really know him that well. It, it does feel human and it does humanize him as a character even more. So I did like that. And of course, the developing relationship with Barbara Rodriguez with Miles Morales Spider-Man. That's also interesting to see and everything else that I've spoke about. So guys, that is it for this review. Thank you so much for watching. We're so much closer to the return or return of the Ultimate Universe and the Ultimate Peter Parker. I know what happens, but obviously everyone's been building up to it. It's going crazy. We're getting closer. Let me know what you thought of this issue in the comment section below. I will be doing a giveaway for the next issue, which is issue five. So look out for that. And yeah, let me know in the comments below, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button for more, and I will see you all in my next video. Hopefully not wearing a hat, but yeah, we'll see. Thank you very much for watching guys, and I'll see you later. Goodbye.